Hello, and welcome to our Jasper Reports I.O. overview video. Jasper Reports I.O. is a lightweight HTTP-based service which exposes its content generating functionality through a REST API. With JasperSoft, reports can be as simple as a single visualization in a page to complex multi-component, multi-page, highly formatted pixel-perfect reports spanning thousands of pages. Developers create report definitions known as JRXMLs using JasperSoft Studio a desktop designer. JasperSoft Studio Professional is a separate downloadable product that you're entitled to as part of your Jasper Reports I.O. license. Report content is returned by pointing a JRXML to one or more data sources. Jasper Reports I.O. includes a set of drivers to various data sources. You can also add your own drivers and define custom data sources to meet your reporting needs. Reports may also point to content such as images, fonts, and translation bundles to support multiple languages, and JAR files that can be deployed by application developers to extend the Jasper Reports I.O. reporting engine. Content can be generated to multiple formats, as well as an interactive report viewer that can be embedded into a web application. All report content that's executed by Jasper Reports I.O. is stored in the central repository. The repository may be as simple as a file system or S3 bucket in AWS. I've installed Jasper Reports I.O. on my Windows machine. Let's take a quick look at the installation. The Jetty folder contains program files for a lightweight application server used by Jasper Reports I.O. The installation includes the Java runtime environment and the main Jasper Reports I.O., also known as JRIO, application files. The repository folder is where reports and their associated content are stored. The Jasper Reports I.O. service can be started with the start command file. Typically the service takes under 10 seconds to start. The default Jasper Reports I.O. installation comes with samples. Let's take a look at some of the sample content. You can create as many folders as needed under the repository folder to organize your report content. The samples folder is located directly under the repository where you will see four subfolders. The data folder contains sample data artifacts. The images folder contains images that are embedded in generated report pages. The jrinf folder contains sample jar files that can be deployed by application developers. And the reports folder, which contains numerous JRXML report definition files and additional sample report artifacts. Now, let's take a look at running reports using some of the samples that are provided with the default Jasper Reports I.O. installation. The following sample web page can be accessed from the running Jasper Reports I.O. instance. Note the host name and port number. When Jasper Reports I.O. is installed, it is set to a host name of localhost and port 8080 by default. I change my Jasper Reports I.O. configuration to use port 8079 instead. The report gallery link shows a large number of sample reports that showcase various capabilities of the reporting engine. We'll start by looking at a basic tabular report by selecting tables from the content panel. You see in the page that the orders table report is located in the repository in the following path. When you click on the view button, you'll see that the report is opened in an interactive report viewer UI. This lets you scroll through the paginated report and perform other actions like sorting content by clicking on a column heading. You see that the report table also contains arrows that show high and low values based on a freight expense threshold and options to export the report to different formats. The interactive report viewer component is based on JaspaSoft's award-winning JavaScript API, Visualize.js. This lets developers embed report content directly into a web page using JavaScript. We'll talk more about that later in this video. Selecting the PDF link causes the report to be output in PDF format. The content in the sample app page is linked using Jasper Reports I.O. REST APIs. Report output can be streamed back to applications requesting content via a REST call, where the report can be returned in various formats. The REST API reference link shows the various APIs that can be used to directly call reports. Use the get REST call to execute a report and direct its content to various output formats. For example, the orders table report is generated to PDF by specifying the REST path with report name and .pdf extension, where you then see that a PDF file is created. 
By changing the extension to XLS, I can output the report to Microsoft Excel. Report content can also be dynamically driven by passing parameters. For example, the orders table report contains parameters for city name and freight value. By adding a parameter reference for city with a question mark and setting it equal to Paris, and also adding a freight parameter with an ampersand character and value of 9, I can run a report just for Paris content where the color-coded arrows in the table are based on the past threshold value of 9. The JavaScript samples page shows how the interactive report viewer component can be embedded into a web page with a few simple lines of JavaScript. For example, selecting the simple report rendering link opens a JavaScript fiddle. This lets developers view and modify code. Note that the code sample is set to your local Jasper Reports I.O. instance. Since I installed on port 8079, I need to modify the code. I then select the Run button to update the page, where I see a basic report with several visualizations. Jasper Reports I.O. is a commercially licensed product that is available as a downloadable standalone service on Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. You can also purchase Jasper Reports I.O. on the AWS Marketplace for as little as 19 cents an hour. There are two planned editions for Jasper Reports I.O. The professional edition is available today as a single instance service that handles low to medium volume reporting needs, letting you run thousands of report pages per day. It executes up to two simultaneous report runs and uses a request queuing system to handle additional concurrent report execution requests. Support for Jasper Reports I.O. Professional is handled via the Jaspersoft community site, where you can view and post questions directly to our product team. TIPCO plans to release the Enterprise Edition in 6 to 12 months. This edition is designed to handle large volume reporting needs as a high availability, high concurrency, and highly scalable container-based microservice. If you're interested in participating as an early adopter, please contact the Jaspersoft product team at the following email.